Hi guys, welcome to the short video about which battery we could take for the Blink XT or XT2 to save a lot of money. With the Blink XT or XT2 there's a huge problem. We all know that it only accepts 1.5 volts lithium. So it doesn't have to do with lithium, it's just 1.5 volts needed. And why is that actually? The problem is, as far as I have seen, that's uh, the infrared during the night and it's not only doing uh, some kind of light emitting, there's some, something inside, some mechanical things and it seems to use a lot of power. And if you have a normal battery like the alkaline, which I'm using at the moment, uh, sometimes they are having problem. I mean, these batteries, they start with 1.5 volts, but they go down. To the end of the life cycle they go down to 1.2 1 volts or even below 1 volt and then it's not enough so the camera gets stuck in some crazy cycle and it always tries to activate this night mode or this infrared uh, if it detects something uh, in front of it and then it does some crazy sound and i think that's not good for the camera it will probably uh, ruin the lifetime or uh, reduce the lifetime of this camera which is definitely not good and that's uh, not much money to save if you save on the battery and then ruin the lifetime and uh, waste the money here so my thinking was there must be another possibility and yeah i mean you can uh, keep going and buying these things these expensive lithium batteries but uh, it, it, it's really expensive main uh, one set of four batteries is at least around five six dollars or so even if you buy it cheap and here i have found something that's also lithium but lithium ion rechargeable that's a four set you can see it they were have been inside here uh, four times four batteries double uh, a batteries for 17 or 18 dollars and the good thing is yeah they are rechargeable and you don't have to throw them into trash so here we have there are actually two different style the one which i have uh, chosen has this micro usb port here which we can use to charge so we have also we get this one to four uh, T cable or means more than T cable of course so we can just plug it here uh, I mean all the four batteries same time and then we plug it into a power bank USB hub normal computer whatsoever and then it is charging so I can show you that quickly here here we have a power bank so I'll push this in here and you can see there's a red light here and it keeps charging for an hour or two or so and after that it will uh, give you the green light and you know it's fully charged you don't have to use any kind of charging uh, cradle or something special you can just use any kind of standard micro usb cable charge it and after that put it inside and they are very lightweight they have absolutely uh, same size so sometimes with the old nickel cadmium or nickel metal hybrid they were sometimes a little bit uh, larger that was the problem a little bit and here absolutely no problem with that perfect fit and i think yeah as you have been hear hearing probably it turned already on and here we have the blue light so it's uh, ready connected everything good so uh, yeah, I think that's a really good solution. So the thing is actually that it's not a compromise, but it's actually even better than the original one-way lithium batteries because think about if you're going on holiday and you have your normal lithium batteries inside the Blink XD and you have no idea how much uh, charge there is still in, in there i mean if you go and leave your home and maybe after one or two days the battery could be empty and yeah that's not good and then you don't have any working camera so if you have this rechargeable lithium ion battery you could the day or a couple of days before you leave you could just 
top off a little bit and you are sure that you are safe for a couple of weeks or fully charged or whatsoever so uh, that's even a huge advantage compared to the normal one-way lithium batteries and you really don't have to be worried about that in case of malfunction or false alarms it will drain your battery within a couple of hours or days i have seen this when uh, i had it in a specific location and a branch of a tree was growing and growing and growing and i didn't notice and in a sudden the leaves were then in the like in the focus area of the blink xd and the blink xd started to turn on and i, I didn't check the footage and uh, after a couple of days or even two or three weeks or something like that the battery which was actually new it was fully drained uh, it's surprising that we do not hear more about that uh, yeah you can see that really working uh, yeah I haven't, I haven't seen or haven't uh, read much about that. I was just looking into this battery for another reason. And then in the comments, I have found that a lot of people are already buying this for the Blink XT or XT2. And all the people have been giving really good reviews. So I thought, yeah, buy now to try. So I bought it, charged it, and now put it inside. And I'm going to test that and let you know how it will work of course i'm not going to wait for six months or a year till the battery is fully drained to see how it reacts on the very end but i have really a high confidence that it will behave much better and have a straight 1.5 volts and then going down to uh, zero I mean the battery the electronics inside the battery will stop them because there's some electronic inside yeah here I have another one of these four I mean we have some part which is dedicated for the port and then we have an additional small part which is just electronics it checking for the charge and discharge so uh, if you are pulling too much current or if it's going too low for the voltage so it will stop then so i have really high confidence that this will uh, work much better at the end that it will have a, a, a steady voltage of 1.5 volt and then drop down immediately and then the camera will turn off instead of trying for days and weeks and ruining the uh, inside of the camera but i will definitely keep an eye on that uh, over time and if there is some problem i will let you know down in the feedback area so yeah if you don't find anything down in the feedback area about how it's holding up don't hesitate to ask me i'm always happy to uh, give you a reply on that so i've replaced now the battery the old normal alkaline batteries with the rechargeable lithium ion batteries on the blink xt so let's check on that now we're going to see if the video uh, function is working i mean that's something which consumes a lot of power so you can see no problem at all so let's close that and let's check on the settings here and yeah it bet battery says okay definitely absolutely no problem i think i don't have to be worried again especially during the night that it do does these crazy things uh, which sometimes it has been doing with the alkaline battery so with the lithium ion it will just uh, work till it's empty and then shut off actually so this is what i'm expecting and if it does something else i will let you know down in the feedback area yeah by the way i will put down the link to the amazon listing of this battery down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it yeah that's it actually for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time